Matanjeri Palace with its medieval charm is situated on the Palace Road in Matanjeri. It was built by the Portuguese and presented to Veera Kerala Varma, the Raja of Kochi, in 1555 AD. The Dutch carried out some extensions and renovations in the palace in 1663 and thereafter it was popularly called the Dutch Palace. The palace is one of the most visited structures by travellers coming to Kochi. It is a landmark of Matanjeri with an architecture that exudes oriental style. The palace has a quadrangular structure built in the traditional Naliketta style of Kerala with a courtyard in the middle. It is marked by halls that are long and spacious and is also noted for the large number of murals executed in the best traditions of Hindu temple art. These murals are religious, decorative and stylized and they have been painted in rich warm colors in tempera technique. The palace also has a portrait gallery where portraits of the Rajas of Cochin from 1864 onwards are displayed in what was once the Coronation Hall. These were painted by local artists in western style. The ceiling of the hall is decorated with floral designs in woodcraft. In 1951, Matanjeri Palace was restored and declared a centrally protected monument. The palace is an architectural masterpiece showcasing the blend between colonial and Kerala architecture. Nearby the palace is the Paradesi Synagogue built in 1568 when Kochi was under the Dutch influence. A unique feature of the Matanjeri Palace is the traditional Kerala flooring which looks like polished black marble. It is actually a mixture of burned coconut shells, charcoal, lime, plant juices and egg whites. The courtyard of the palace houses a small temple dedicated to Goddess Bhagavati, the protective goddess of the Kochi royal family. There are two more temples on either side of the palace, one dedicated to Lord Krishna and the other to Lord Shiva.